Oh, wait. Oh, gosh, guys. Yes, yes, that's what we're looking for. And I just did something different that I haven't done all day on this cast. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Man, we have a banger for y'all today. I actually got my boy First State right here. What is going on, boy on Mike? You know you've been seeing them in the videos for a while. I got my boy A-Dub down here. And then uh, Larry and Fletcher are actually filming a video right now. They're, they're doing a little bank fishing video. So I'm gonna be trying to search for some giant bass with some big worms. A-Dub's lending me a few big worms that he has. He just tossed them right here. These are actually some plum old monsters and uh we're gonna be trying to catch some giant bass today on some big worms haven't filmed one of these in a good second i did post a big worm video but it was just like a compilation of a ton of big worm catches so we're gonna be trying this out today but we're gonna go ahead and get on the boats and see what we're gonna do are you are you going back with a dub i, I really don't care whatever you guys want to do yeah, yeah we're gonna go catch some girthy girls Gr quick. girthy girls big girls fat yes, girls sir. so uh they're gonna be in one boat i'm gonna be in this boat we're gonna be throwing these big worms and uh hopefully we'll go catch a giant so let's go ahead and hop on this boat i'll show you guys my rig and uh we will get after it well guys long story short i left my gopro with fletcher and larry so i've been gone for a minute adam and mike have been fishing i actually drove all the way back to fletcher's house thinking it was there and then i drove all the way over to them because they ended up having it in their cart so we are back now and we are ready to go fishing so we are going to get this day started we're going to rig up a rod and then hopefully catch a absolute donk right now because i i'm in the, i'm in the mood to catch just a donkey guys like donkey 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 okay we are good to go all right so i have this rod right here pro ti on my mock crush i was going to throw a big worm so i want to cut off this chatter donk we might throw this at some point today i don't know but since it's a big worm video we're obviously going to start off with the big worm and try our best to catch some big ones the sun has got up. It was an overcast day, um, and now the sun's peeking through, so some of these bass are going to get up in a lot of that cover and some of that vegetation as well, so this worm's going to be perfect for that. So we got a 5 aught EWG. I believe this is like a 10.5-inch old monster. This is in plum color, which is a fantastic big worm color. Um, I love it. And then we got a 3 8 ounce weight that we just put on. Regular bullet weight, lead, very basic. So a ton of basic uni knot. Flip our tag end and we are good to go so that's our little rig like i said three eighth ounce weight five aught ewg big worm usually when i'm throwing these big worms i either use a four aught or a five aught and i happen to have a five aught today so we're gonna get today started we're gonna start fishing i don't know how it is i don't know if they've been whacking them adam actually just caught one as i said that looks like a really small one though but i don't know they could be absolutely destroying them right now for all i know i have not got to talk to them so let's get today started i think we'll um we're gonna start off right here fish some of this edge right here skip under a few of these docks then we might come over here on this shady bank with a bunch of this cover and try to catch some there it's actually been a very windy day today it, it just died down recently that was a horrible cast um but it was extremely windy earlier always check your drag when you're changing your baits out that's something that's very important because if you don't your drag's either going to slip or your drag's going to be too tight and you're going to end up breaking the fish off so like i said we're just going to cover this right here it's a mixture of vegetation and some wood cover along the bank and when you have that hybrid of wood and grass let me tell you man and bass love that so let's go ahead and get this started and hopefully it won't take us too long to catch one Ooh, he just had me right there. I actually watched the grass move too. He just kind of loaded up on it. That's one thing with this big worm too. You want to make sure that they have it. Sometimes they'll just short strike it and kind of take the tail. Man, I skipped right up in that little pocket there. Kind of messed up my worm a little bit. There he is. Oh, he's small, holy cow. On that big worm. It's so funny, you, you like throw all these humongous baits, man. I'm not saying the worm is nothing crazy, but he actually 
messed it up too dang it you little squeaker i don't want a little small one to mess up my worm i'd like that to be a big one that messes it up but guess what we got the monkey off her back today all right bud calm down okay you were just really feisty just calm down i'm gonna get you right back in the water and we'll be on with our day hooked him in the bottom lip that's kind of funny but it's so it's, it's hilarious when you throw these big baits sometimes the smallest fish Decide to bite them. That worm's almost the size of that fish right there. Or that fish is almost the size of the worm. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully we'll catch a bigger one this next time. That is a good little sign. You know, it's always a good thing to catch the first fish of the day. So I'm going to show you guys this. It'll save you a lot of soft plastics. This is a good little talking point real quick. So you see how this messed up the worm? What I'm going to do is I'm not going to rip the worm because then that's totally going to destroy it. So I'm going to thread it back on this hook just like that. I'm going to take it out so I don't puncture or ruin the bait, rip it by any means. And then at the front of it, it's obviously going to have a slit like that. What you're going to want to do is you can get your teeth. That's what I usually do. I just bite it off, but we'll, we'll break it off so you guys can see. We're going to break it off right where it is not ripped, just like that. See, it's cut right there. We just took the cut piece off. And now you can still use this big worm without having to use another one. So you can reuse your baits. Yes, the worm's going to be a little bit shorter, but I mean, guys, let's be real, man. We, we took off half an inch of this worm, so it's really not going to make too much of a difference. We'll rig that guy right back on there, and look at that. It's just like a brand new worm. See, a lot of people end up just taking it off and putting on a new one, but if you want to save baits and you want to save money in the long term, man, that's all you got to do, and you can reuse your baits. Or if you're running low on them like me, because I think I only have like two more, that's all you got to do. There's actually a few trees that are off this bank. We're gonna throw on them right here. Before we bring the boat up on top of them, we'll make a cast or two just in case, because we could end up catching a big fish. And last thing you want to do is bring your boat over the top of them. Ooh, oh, that was a, that tree bit me so good right there. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> that tree that was one of the best bites i've had all year oh my god he's running no that was insane he ate it like a top water oh my gosh that was the fastest fish it's fast and furious bro it's the fastest bass i've ever hooked it had me on a limb and it just made the hook set a little weird and then that fish just started running a country mile i don't even think i had the hook hooked him like i don't think i ever hooked him i think he was just holding on to the bait that was freaking crazy that fish went from there to there in like two seconds i couldn't even do anything dang man that was a cool bite too he ate it like a top water are you guys whacking them really you caught some two pounders Yeah, that's a decent one, dude. That was first cast on this bank. It's like a little two, it's a two pounder. <laughs> nah, he ain't even two pounds, bro. I thought he was two pounds. He's not even two pounds. Why are, why do they been, they've been looking so big recently when they jump. Yeah, their mouths are huge and their body's skinny. Look at that. That might be, no, I don't know. He, I don't think he's quite too. Well, there we go, guys. That is our second fish. Nothing to really brag about. Let me get this hook out and we can show you him. Yeah, that might be two pounds. That, yeah, you know what? He might be two. Pretty fish though, it's probably about a pound and a half. I don't know. He might be two pounds, that's whatever. He's around there. So the good thing is about that is the bank that we just fished was mainly grass and docks. The bank that we're about to fish, Adam and Mike already fished it, but they were throwing moving baits. So I'm going to go right up behind them with this worm and we should be able to catch them. That was the first cast on this bank. And like I said, the, the difference between this bank and the other one is this one has a bunch of laydowns. The other bank is more of vegetation 
and in some of those docks. So we're gonna throw this around. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? What am I doing, boys? That's one thing about a Texas rig is if you don't peg this thing, it's not like I can, I mean, I can skip it. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I just skipped it all the way to the bank. I mean, you just can't skip it too well. You know, it's not gonna be the easiest to skip, but you can still skip it. But we're gonna work around this. That was pretty good though. First cast on this bank, we get hammered. So maybe we'll work our way down here and pick off a few of these bass that weren't wanting to eat the fast baits that they were reeling by them earlier. Oh no, oh my God, <laughs> that was funny. He was stuck in the tree, I couldn't do anything. Gosh dang it, gosh dang it now. I was just talking about how I can't skip this thing in the last three or four casts, I'm skipping it perfect, weird. This worm is honestly very tore up, but we're gonna keep on throwing it. All right, I think we're gonna change this worm out. <laughs> just getting to the point to where I can't really use it. I am gonna keep it, I'm not gonna rip it, just in case stuff, you know, things go south and I run out of worms. But then again, we could always put on a different bait. I'm sure you guys would be fine with that and catch some other fish, but we have a couple in here, so we should be good. These plum worms, man, they catch them. I, I love this color. It's like a worm I've used since I started fishing. Plum old monster. There we go. Just rigged it up simple like that. I should have showed you guys, but it's just like any other Texas rig. If you guys want to learn how to do that, all you got to do is go on my page, watch a couple of my tip videos, and I'll tell you exactly how to do it in some of them. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was such a good bite. That was a man. That was a Oh, that is not helping our situation with only a couple worms left. Look at that. <laughs> he just bit it in half. He took the whole tail. That was a really good bite too. Look at that, that sucks. Why couldn't it have been the broken worm? Well, good news, we actually have two more left, not just one, so we might be good with it. Since I talked about it, this is what you wanna do. A lot of you guys probably already know, but the flat side of the worm is obviously the back of it, the rigid side's the front. You're gonna put the end of your hook through the head of it. You're gonna run it to where it bends. Then you're gonna break it through the bottom side of the bait, which is that smooth side. You're gonna start pushing your bait up the hook. And then when you get about right here, you're gonna rotate it to where the rigid side is facing where you're gonna lay it. Then you're just gonna push the bait all the way up. Just like that, right? Then when you lay this hook down, this is something that you need to pick up on if you guys do not know. A lot of you, like I said, probably do. When you lay this down, right where this back of the hook lays, that's where you're gonna wanna penetrate. So, boom. You're gonna stick that hook through, through the bait just like that, and then I like to bury the end of the hook into the worm. So if you bury that, see I can rub my finger across it, it's not even hooking me. That is called weedless right there, boys. So you're not gonna have a bunch of crap get on it. You know, you're not gonna be hooking trees every cast. There's a bunch of reasons for that, but let's see if we can get this fish to bite because I didn't, I didn't stick them, you know. I just threw it in there and pulled it out of his mouth. I don't know if he's gonna bite again, but it was a dang good bite. That's what I gotta say. All right, come on, big bass. That's what we're going for today. We're searching for these giants. So far, we have not seen any sign of a really big one. I am curious to <clears throat> to know how big that fish was that blew on it like top water, because that one seemed pretty big. I don't know. I can't can't be assuming over here, but that one did seem a little big. What in the world? Look at this, there's some baby bass biting my line. Do you see that? I don't know if you guys can see, but there's 10 of them. They're literally about this big, just biting the end of my line. Look at them chasing my worm. Can you guys see that? Probably not. <laughs> Wait, that was a freaking fish. 
Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Not again. There he is. Oh yeah, that was so cool. Threw back in there, he got it that time. Not a bad one. Not a big one, not what we need. But guess what, the fish is a fish at the end of the day. I have fun catching them. I'm sure you guys have fun watching them. Oh my gosh, you were a hyper boy. And you were like a golden bass. Holy cow, look at your colors, bud. That's a fat, chunky little dude. Calm down, bud. Okay, you are aggressive and mean. You are a little mean dude. Look at this pretty dude. A little fat tummy on him. Some of these bass are just so aggressive. They're made to be 10 pounders out the womb. Pretty one. Got like a little gold tint to them. We've been out here for about an hour now. How many have we caught? Three. Not, not horrible. Okay. Not horrible. We'll keep it going. No big ones, but we're still hunting. Yes. Yes. Oh no, that was actually a good one. He wasn't a giant. All right, he wasn't a giant. I'm not gonna go that far. But that was a good fish. That was, a, that was at least a two, two and a half pounder. Son. After I just said we've only had like three bites in an hour, that was like two casts later. All right, we might be getting into them. This corner might be loaded. All right, can I break this worm? Right, I'm just gonna bite it. Oh, what? Oh my God. Yes! Dude, they're, they're just loaded right here. They're not big though. Ah, why are they so small? Okay. <laughs> Ow, dude, what? Calm down, Becky. Calm down, Becky. Okay, you were just not not my line at this point, bud. Can I just get you back in the water? That would be awesome. Thank you for biting. Like, don't don't get me wrong. I still love you. But when you have a little bit of sass like that, I kind of want to get you back in the water. They're all dinks, though. I saw a lot of people commenting. I have a couple different series on the channel, and... Um, Searching for giant bass is pretty much where I go out on the hunt and pretty much document the whole process of trying to catch these giant bass. That's what searching for giant bass is, if you guys didn't know. Um, we go out and we, and we just hunt for them. And uh, this is one of my favorite series on the channel. My favorite series has to probably be river monsters. I, I love the river fishing. And you guys are probably like, Noah, I want to see another river fishing video trust me i do too more than you guys trust me it's just hard because we have all these boys down here and we're all collabing and at the moment we only have one big boat so i can't really fit all five of these fools on my boat that's just not happening nor will it happen so i don't know maybe we'll get a cool river video for you guys soon He's running at me. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh, guys. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 That's what we're looking for. And I just did something different that I haven't done all day on this cast. And I think we might have figured this out. That's a good fish, man. Oh, yes. That fish is over three pounds. Not a giant by any means, but that is a dang good fish, boys. Look at that. Look at the head on him. He's got a four pound head all day. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's what we're looking for. Gosh, that's good. I'm about to talk about what I just did. That was the lightest little bite. If you watch my rod tip closely, you could see tick, tick. And it honestly felt like a branch. But once he started going to the side, I knew exactly what it was. That is awesome. And I think we might have just figured out how to catch these bigger fish today. And if we start doing that and catching these, this is going to be an awesome learning point for everybody watching this. This is what I love about fishing, man. Everything changes day by day. And you can just learn so much. Like I, I learn every day I go fishing. It's just awesome. Look at that fish right there. That's a good one. I don't know if he's three and a half just because of how skinny he is. But let me tell you, that head on him right there is to a four pounder. Thank you so much, buddy. You're a nice fish and I appreciate you biting. Heck yeah. I did ask Adam and them if they've caught any good ones and they said they haven't caught any fish over two pounds. So that might've been the biggest one out of here today. And if I do it again, what I just did, which we're about to talk about, it's gonna be it's gonna be nasty, man. So let's talk about what just happened and and maybe we can learn from it. So 
pretty much recently I've been throwing the worm out there all the way up on the bank, whether I was skipping it or throwing it. And I've just been kind of doing this, right? I've been kind of lifting my rod, letting the bait fall, lifting my rod, letting the bait fall. And pretty much what that worm's doing is it's going on the bottom. Then you lift it up, falls back down, lift it up, falls back down. That tail's fluttering. Well, on this cast, I decided to try something different. I was actually thinking about it in my head. That's the crazy thing. First cast, I did it. So I threw my bait up there. We're gonna throw up right up. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? That was not nice. This worm, I'm not gonna lie, boys. It looks like she's toast. We have one more. Look at that. That is a sad sight when you're catching fish. Especially when you just hook a good one and you think you figured out what they're doing. That is the last thing you want to see. We'll figure it out, guys. It's, it's all good, man. We're just having fun. We're living life. We're enjoying life. That's what it's about, man. Getting in the outdoors, having fun, taking your neighbor fishing, taking your friend fishing, taking your parents fishing, taking your grandparents, taking your family. That's what it's about, man. Anyways, what I was talking about before I was rudely interrupted by a fish. Not really. I would have loved it. I've caught that fish. But. So I'm throwing the bait up there. Let's, let's go ahead and give her a little skip up there so we let the bait hit the bottom and then what i'm doing instead of lifting this and letting it fall lifting it letting it fall i actually put my rod to the side and just simple as it gets guys dragging this bait so i drag it a couple foot i let it sit for a second i reel up my slack boom i drag it again let it sit wait a second Drink a sip of coffee, whatever you gotta do. Reel up your line, drag it again. And listen, that was the first cast I did that and we caught a really good fish. So it's something to think about. You know, those bigger fish, one, are either slower or two, really want this bait keeping bottom contact. You know, the way I was working it before, lifting it up and bringing it down, all this worm was doing is coming off the bottom and then fluttering down coming off the bottom fluttering down now when we're dragging it all this thing's doing is staying on the bottom and it's just staying on the bottom just crawling so that's something to think about and that might be what those big bass want today so now what we're gonna do that was our best fish of the day it was the first cast i tried it so in my head i'm like you know what let's go ahead and start dragging this worm so now that's exactly what we're gonna do so let's let's keep covering some water let's work it differently now let's start dragging it and see if that produces more bites and more importantly bigger bites. Wait. No way. Wait, that's a good one. Is he not? Or am I just freaking out for no reason? Okay, that's probably our second biggest today. Maybe, maybe third biggest. That was crazy. So I got it hung in a tree and he actually ate it. I have my line stuck in the tree. I didn't really get the whole bait in the tree. It's like a two pounder, right? Maybe um, pound and a half. You were not my second biggest I lied. All right, look at that, man. Oh no, you messing up my worm, boy. But remember what we talked about in the beginning of the episode, we can fix that. That's just a basic fish, but listen, man, I, I don't care. Like, obviously I want to catch a big one. Like who doesn't, all right? Like you obviously want to catch a big one, but like when it comes down to it, I just love fishing guys. and. Any fish is a fish. A fish is a fish at the end of the day. Yes. God, it's been a second since I've had a bite. He's not big. <laughs> he is small. Yeah. It's not even a pound and a half. He's just about a pound. Just gonna hop you right up here, bud. Hop you right up here, buddy. Nice. You ate it better than just about every single fish, and you were the smallest one of the today. He's bleeding a little. Why are you bleeding? Get you right back in the water. I have no idea why he's bleeding. 